friends, faculty, families, and alumni, I would like to present to you the graduating class of 2021. Braden Daniel Rankin. As a son of Dan and his wife, Braden's plans are to attend St. Vincent College to major in mathematics and engineering. He plans to continue, his, continue running cross country and track at the collegiate level. Janelle Janine Pizzuti. Janelle's future plans are to attend Youngstown State University, participating in their honors program and majoring in chemical engineering. <laughs> Isabella Maria Barboza is the daughter of Sandra Trejos and Gustavo Barboza. Isabella's future plans are to serve as a Catholic missionary for one year with the NET ministry and then attend Catholic University of America, participating in their honors program and dual majoring in neuroscience and theology. <laughs> Jacob Craig Rankin is the son of Craig and Deb Rankin. Jacob's future plans are to attend Duquesne University, majoring in forensic science and law. Tim and Michelle Eats. Taylor's future plans are to attend Clarion University to major in secondary education mathematics while continuing her cheerleading career at the collegiate level. <laughs> Lauren Page Hartle is the daughter of Brian and Brandy Hartle. Lauren's future plans are to attend the University of Pittsburgh to major in dental hygiene. daughter of Anne and Larry James. Lauren's future plans are to attend Clarion University majoring in chemistry, biochemistry, with a pre-professional route in pharmacy. <laughs> Anna Bell Kenneman is the daughter of Lee and Kara Kenneman. Anna's future plans are to attend Butler Community College in Broadway majoring in is the son of Rebecca James and Brenton Carrier. Kent's plans are to attend Rochester Institute of Technology, majoring in computational mathematics. <laughs> Kelby May Powell is the daughter of Tammy Keesling and Roger Powell. Kelby's plans are to attend Edinburgh University and earn a dual degree in intelligent enterprise and marketing. daughter of Jeff and Margie Hartle. Morgan's future plans are to attend Clarion University, majoring in early childhood education, continuing her dance career at the collegiate level. <laughs> Hayden Andrew Sigel is the son of Cup and Donna Sigel. Hayden's future plans are to attend Clarion University, where he will continue his golf career while majoring in secondary education and social studies and minoring in athletic coaching while continuing his golf career at the collegiate level. <laughs> Sydney Elizabeth Simpson is the daughter of Gus and Tina Simpson. Sydney's future plans are to attend Clarion University and continue her golf career at the collegiate level. <laughs> Bryant Lynn Smith is the son of Becky Farringer and Adam Smith. Brian's future plans 
plan are to attend a gap year before attending Slipper Rock University to major in nutrition. Mason Robert Senner is the son of Rob and Stacy Senner. Mason's future plans are to attend Guinea University, majoring in veterinary science. <laughs> Shelly Elizabeth Fiscus is the daughter of Melody and Joseph Fiscus. Shelly's future plans are to enter the workforce and to attend school to become a veterinary technician. Son of Joe and Debbie Vitaro. Kyle's future plans are to attend Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida for a bachelor's degree in film production. <laughs> Levi Davis Orkut is the son of Tim and Jill Orkut. Levi's future plans are to attend West Virginia University in the fall for a degree in public relations and advertising. Son of Randy and Heidi Cowan. Hayden's future plans are to attend Clarion University to major in accounting while continuing his baseball career at the Collegiate Club. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Smith is the daughter of Jim and Brenda Smith. Hannah's future plans are to attend college. Keaton Bryce Smith is the son of Dawn and Missy Smith. Keaton's future plans are to become a real estate wholesaler. <laughs> Marcella Marie Ann Simpson is the daughter of Robin and Matthew Simpson. Marcella's future plans are to go to college to become a pharmacist. Carly Marie Hunter is the daughter of Jason and Shelley Hunter. Carly's plans are to attend Clarion University to major in pre professional veterinary medicine. <laughs> Monica Lynn Heath is the daughter of Tammy Weckerly. Monica's future plans are to enter the workforce. Caden Douglas Guntram is the son of Douglas Guntram and Jamie Klingler. Caden's future plans are to attend Pennsylvania College of Art and Design, majoring in graphic design and illustration. Brooke Diane Bob is the daughter of Paul and Michelle Bob. Brooke's future plans are to attend Gannon University majoring in pre-dental while continuing her career and cheerleading at the Collegiate Club. <laughs> Hannah Eden Culp is the daughter of Timothy and Annette Culp. Hannah's future plans are to attend Indiana University of Pennsylvania, majoring in English education. Grace Smith is the daughter of Todd and Melissa Smith. Emma's plans are to attend Clarion University in nursing.
Joseph Jennings Hemp is the son of Mindy and Justin Frampton. Joe's future plans are to attend Clarion University, majoring in computer science. <laughs> Taylor Michelle Kimball is the daughter of Ed and Katie Kimball. Taylor's future plans are to attend Clarion University, majoring with a BS in nursing. James Smith is the son of Jody and Brian Smith. Connor's future plans are to pursue a career as a diesel technician. <laughs> Devin M. Kratz is the daughter of Janine Evan Mickey. Devin's future plans are to continue working at the daughter of Stephen and Andrea Baker. Aaron's future plans are to attend Clarion University, majoring in the BSBA Paralegal Studies Program. <laughs> Gavin Robert Surrey is the son of Jack and Gretchen Surrey. Gavin's plans are to go to college for environmental science and enlist in the armed forces. Sierra Reese Miller is the daughter of Brent and Jamie Miller. Sierra's future plans are to pursue her passion for equine science. <laughs> Anthony Keith Slyke is the son of Linda Slyke. Anthony's future plans are to become a computer programmer. daughter of Christy Martin and granddaughter of David and Debbie Martin. Kiera's future plans are to keep working and enjoy life. <laughs> Cassidy Louise McCray is the daughter of Eric and Brenda McCray. Cassidy's future plans are to attend Log Haven University to major in Freemans. James Lane is the son of Elizabeth Lane. Holden's future plans are to attend Lycoming College to major in biology, molecular biology. Oh, wow. Emily Elizabeth Travis is the daughter of Darren and Stacy Travis. Emily's future plans are to begin EMT classes at the Clarion Hospital. Ryan Alexander Burns is the son of Alex and Jessica Burns. Ryan's future plans are to pursue a career as an electrician. <laughs> Mabel Marie Reed is the daughter of Kevin and Lisa Reed. Mabel's future plans are to attend Clarion University with an undecided major. Hunter John West is the son of John and Patty West. Hunter's future plans are to continue his career in welding at the Hobart Institute of Welding in Troy, Ohio, then go to Texas for his x-ray welding certification. <laughs> Elena Elizabeth Rittenhouse is the daughter of Shannon and Joseph Rittenhouse. Elena's future plans are undecided.
Jason Alexander Gano is the son of Tammy and Jody Gano. Jason's future plans are to attend Slippery Rock University to major in physical therapy. <laughs> Bly Ryan Dolby is the son of Joshua Dolby and Allison Fox. Bly's future plans are to continue working at Sawyer's Landscaping and Nursery and on classic cars. <laughs> Summer Nicole McLean is the daughter of Michael and Dorothy Weckerly. Summer's future plans are to pursue her passion for photography. Gabriel James Young is the son of Keith and Carrie Young. Gabe's plans are to enter the workforce. <laughs> Dennis J. Zitzelberg is the son of Tracy and Jason Zitzelberg. Dennis's future plans are to attend Penn State University, majoring in engineering. Isabella Maxine Shim is the daughter of Stephanie and Dave Shim. Isabella's future plans are to travel the country. Austin Robert Cole is the son of Jess and Rob Cole. Austin's future plans are to work at Blake's Carpet and Furniture. Marie Wenner is the daughter of Jeremy and Jennifer Wenner. Madison's plans are to attend Clarion University for a Bachelor's of Science degree. Patrick James Golnick is the son of Miranda Golnick. Patrick's plans upon graduation is to enter the field of construction. Malia Page Hollenbaugh is the daughter of Jason Thompson and Alicia Blows. Malia's future plans are to attend Clarion University to pursue a career in the field of mental health. <laughs> Zachary Joshua Keel is the son of Jenny Curry and William Northey. Zach's plans are currently undecided while he finds his life's passion. Stuart Burkett is the son of Christy Stitt and Kurt Burkett. Blaine's future plans are to attend Edinburgh University to become a lineman. It is my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Clarion Limestone, Mrs. Amy Glasser. Almost the end, but I feel like everybody maybe needs to stand up and take a little stretch. If you don't, that's okay, but feel free to do that if you would like, and um, we will move on with the program. Let everyone know tonight that 
we collected 3,936 pounds of clothing. At 15 cents a piece, a pound, at 15 cents a pound, that totals $590.42. That's great news. But what just happened right before the seniors came in here is the even more wonderful news. Mrs. Eggleton and Mrs. Beals, Mrs. Bennett talked to the senior class and told them that they received this money. And they said, we would like to give it to Mr. Kiefer. along with many others, 
soon became a commonplace in the vocabularies of news reporters, community members, and teachers and students in high schools all over the country. Through all of this, we are no different at face value than the next high school graduating class. But I want to take some time tonight to help us remember and realize what makes us, the class of 2021 from Clarion Limestone Area School District, completely unlike any others. I think there are very few graduating students that have to attend a school that everybody else around us, and even some people here tonight, call cattle and livestock. And it, doesn't, it didn't help our case this year when one of the school's closest neighbors decided to leave their property and to walk around the school when parking lot, leaving not two, but four footprints because it was a cow who escaped the pasture field right beside the school. <laughs> there are also very few graduates this year that are able to say they started their high school careers being called by their teachers as the worst behaved class they had ever seen. <laughs> to reiterate what Isabella said, I don't know if you remember, but we had a uh, whole class meeting in the library of eighth grade year. Um, Mr. Rogers pulled us all in there to give us a lecture about our terrible behavior as a class. And I think we've done a pretty decent job at obeying him and any other teachers that tried to steer us in the right path because stories like putting a thumbtack on a teacher's toilet seat don't seem to happen as often. <laughs> there are even fewer graduates that year, this year that have the opportunity to attend high school with such a talented group of classmates. When we take a look at the strength of our students in such a small class size of such a rather small school district, we realize that strength doesn't always have to be in numbers. Members in our class have been part of the most winning academic decathlon team Clarion Limestone has had in the past 10 years, winning the state championship the last six years straight. Other classmates have competed at the state championships as well as part of Clarion Limestone's first ever cheerleading team to do so. See how academics and athletics have done very well across the whole entire board, from golf and football all the way to softball, and that can be directly credited to the efforts and talents brought forth from students like us. To add to the vast academic and athletic talents that we have to display to the world, Claire and Limestone graduates are able to experience a grand diversity of opportunities during our time in high school that many students never get. Take the music department, for instance. This is Tina Bennett, who is here tonight and also graduating with us, so she deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Mrs. Bennett has enabled many of my classmates to find their voice and their place, and inspires so many others, including myself. I strongly doubt that there are many graduates this year to have had the experiences and teachings brought about through such a fantastic music program. or any of the other programs or departments that Clarion Limestone has to offer. How many students can say they could end their high school career playing cornhole in the woodshop with the woodmaster, Mr. P himself, who enjoys sharing his love for creativity and sauerkraut with everybody. Over the past several years as Clarion Limestone students, each and every one of us has made so many memories that will hopefully remain with us for a long time. Whether it's getting dress coded by the Guthbuster, or dealing with any of the other amazing teachers, some of which have since moved on, like Mr. Dulovich, Mrs. Jones, or Mrs. Lanan. But we appreciate all of the faculty and the teachers, and we especially think of Mr. Kiefer at this time. I don't know if you're watching Mr. Kiefer, but our thoughts are with you. Um, whether it's having to learn how to adjust to a new online grading system, it seemed like every year. Many of us, I'm sure, will find ourselves reminiscing later in life over football night, Friday night football games with friends, or when we thought a five-paragraph single-page essay was so long, or any of the other great, great or not-so-great memories I'm sure you all have made. Our past year and a half together in high school has definitely served well in making both kinds of those memories. It has been crazy for everyone. Here at Clarion Limestone, we have got through it just like any other school, stronger than ever. However, there is so much that has made us unique and individual. For that, we need to take lots of pride in these things. We need to be proud of the memories we've made, the friendships we've obtained, the hardships we've overcome, like living through a global pandemic. 
we deserve a pat on the back for that one. And the people we've become. As we all move into the next chapters of our lives, no matter where that might be, I want you all to take this to heart and to be proud of yourselves. Take pride in who you are as a friend, as a family member, as a Clarion Limestone graduate, and as a human being on this temporary home we call Earth. Thank you. I now ask my fellow classmates to please rise and join me in the task of turning ceremony. 